Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Layback Gamer, and we're just back with another mini channel update. It's nothing, well, we do have a couple of major points, but a few minor things that I'm going to also cover in here as well. So, as I said, mini channel update. What are we going to cover? Well, start with the bad news. Might be bad news. Don't know about yeah, what you think. And that's Warcraft 3 Reforged! That nightmare of a mess. Because my god, that was a nightmare of a mess. Great disappointment. Yup. Very big disappointment. I mean, when I first played it, it was really, like, it was cool to play it, but then afterwards... Eh. Like, as I started to record for the campaign missions, that's when it kind of hit me. And as well as when I was playing with uh, Dean. That's when it hit me that I went, I, I don't actually like the way this looks. Not to mention, it this just doesn't... It, it look, I, I didn't say it, but the menu looked very lazy. It just... Yeah. I'm not going to go into any more details as to why. Many people have already said their piece about this, so I'm not going to go into details on that. If you look up Warcraft 3 Reforged, I'm sure you can find a plethora of videos. Uh, I've already went ahead and refunded this because as much as I want to do, as much as I want to record this, from what I, based on what I hear from the cut features, also not to mention my own disappointment in playing the game, it's just, it's not worth it and I'm not going to support people who make that. So, uh, yeah, I have one video of this that I'll be posting with Dina. It's basically just my first dive into the, into, you know, playing the game with him. And just all around, ha if we, we enjoy, I enjoyed it because I was playing with a friend. And that match, to get the first match that we had in there, took a, we played a total of, I think, three or four games in that one session and the first one took us about 15 20 ish minutes before we actually managed to get playing uh second one i ended up lagging out third one he lagged out and i think it ended with a fourth one where we were able to play and you know ha have a good time what <sighs> it's just a it's a great disappointment and this is this one is a massive like if you could stretch this if from one screen across I don't know what's a good um don't know if they have it but stretch it across 80 a 80 squared by 80 squared set of television it's set of televisions so you just pile it up in a 80 inch squared by 80 inch squared and just put a massive if on that because I I'm pretty I'm convinced that they're not going to they're going to do a tiny bit of fixing. It's like, okay, we're gonna make this uh playable. We're not changing anything else though. We're may, we're going to fix a few bugs and that's it. I that that's I I'm convinced that's the only thing that they're gonna do. They're not going to spend any more time on this. And it's sad because well this had potential to do really well to revitalize a game that people really like. And on top of that, it, it even mucked up with... It, it, they screwed it up. They just screwed this so badly up. They should have done what they did with StarCraft 1. And that's it. But anyways, if the game is updated with most, if not all, the features that they had promised, and has been bug-fixed... I'll pick it up again and play it. I should say play it again, not just play, it, not pick it up and it again. But yeah, I ain't recording this. I'll put, I'll, I'll post the one video, and that's it. No more Warcraft Three or Forge until either they fix it or, actually, that's the only way if they fix it. And again, massive if. 
All right, so now we'll move on to some minor updates, and these ones are just really small changes. Uh, no Man's Sky is going to be delayed for a little bit. I'm still trying to find a good capital ship. I haven't really found one yet. I found a good spot to farm for one for ones that I like the look of. However, I, I haven't had any pop-up that's been that great. I've had some good ones pop up, but I know I can get better. Now, if there is a way that you can upgrade shit, those ships in the game, then I may have just I might be just wasting my time. I'll start I'm gonna start up a new file and see if that's the case. But if I, if it turns out that I'm not wasting my time, and it is worthwhile trying to seek out the ship that I want, I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I'll have a, another mini No Man's Sky update posted about that when I do get around to being able to actually test it out and spend a few hours just to get to that point again. Because I still have to make a little, I have to catch up on a little bit of content. Um, Prison Architect has some pre-recorded episodes. I know I said I was going to be doing it, uh, one at, essentially doing it for that one for that week and then moving on. I kind of got carried away because I got really excited for the game and I tried out the tree farming and money strategy that I had wanted to do and it, it, it sort of saw some results, but it's probably not going to be a viable one so when I get to the that point where I test it out it's just gonna be a I'm gonna cut to myself doing completely restarting the mission so yeah uh, Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal might be delayed for one or two upload sessions and that's because I ran out of pre-recorded content currently I'm on planet Zeldrin I got half of the level finished before I had to go away I don't remember what it was, I believe it was dinner at the time, and I just ended up... Uh, I left it recording for a bit, so there's going to be a bit of a cutoff point there. So, yeah. Oh, actually, now that I recall, I may have decided to go a little bit further, but then had to leave after I had managed to go a tiny bit further. But it was maybe killing one or two enemies, and I don't have enough ammunition to keep going so I have to hope that my health will be able to carry me across although that's not really helping for much since I'm on one life there so I'm likely going to die and it's painful uh, if it wasn't apparent and I don't know if that's the correct choice of word uh, Monster Hunter World Iceborne has a long line of already recorded content with a little bit more being made in the next few days I did see their roadmap that they plan on having, and uh, one of the creatures that I've been trying to avoid spoilers for, uh, and I, oh, I will say the name, uh, um, Safiji, Safijiva, or I, I don't remember, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Uh, apparently, that was a mon that's this monster that is going to be added in with one of these title updates. I don't remember if it was the next one or title update number two, but I know Rijang is coming into the game, and I've already done quite a bit of looking into him just for in the past, before he was coming to Iceborne, or coming as an expansion monster, so I, I kind of already know how he fights. However, uh, Safajiva, I don't know how it fights. All I know is, well, I might even be wrong, but I think it's some sort of siege fight similar to Kolf Taroth. I don't know 100%. Please don't spoil it. So, as that's coming out, I'm going to be making the content for that ahead of time, as well as currently there's a... Uh, there's currently the... What's the name? Uh, a celestial event going on. Or a, a... I think it's the, it's the second anniversary event, as well as the winter festival event happening right now. So we have four weeks of... Lots and lots of events. I'm going to try to see if I can get around to recording them. Thanks to the uh, spike in armor and weapon quality from Iceborne, I think the I the Arch Temper should be a bit easier to take down now. So, yeah, beyond, I'll be recording for that. I won't be posting those until 
after the fact, but let's just say that Monster Hunter World's probably going to be sticking around for a lot longer than I initially anticipated, because, well, as of right now, I have the entire main story finished. I haven't fought every monster off yet, though, so... Um, there are still some monsters that are that I do know about. I'm aware of their existence in the game that we're going to eventually be fighting, as well as when we're going to be facing a certain uh, Elder Dragon. That we're not going to be able to face him until we get a much higher rank. And I do mean much, much higher. However, I think I'm coming up on a uh, threshold for in rank. Currently, I'm almost at uh, Master Rank 50, without spoiling anything. And I think that we're going to have another... Uh, like new, mo a couple new monsters showing up here. Either that or, uh, nah, I'm not gonna say. But those of you who play the game probably know. So, yeah, Monster Hunter World Iceborne. I've got a lot already made for that. So if you make suggestions or comments in the beginning that you want me to try to do later on, uh, just please note it may be a while before those changes come into play. And lastly, if this, in case this wasn't obvious, Warcraft 3 upload slots are completely removed and they won't be filled by another series. Currently I have a lot going on and quite a bit more content that I have to uh, make. School's been uh, kind of busy the past couple weeks, but I am going to have a breather week next week. Where, I may, yeah, I am going to keep up with homework, but it's not, I have, a, I have assignments due. Like, I have a couple of assignments due the next weekend. I have to finish it, and I really need to get ahead on top of them. Well, I got one, but I plan on finishing that tomorrow while I'm at school, or at least 90% of it, and then the rest of it I'll carry over. So I'm uh, going to be able to record some new stuff tomorrow, which is pretty exciting. But that's the list of small changes. As you can see, nothing too major. And here's the good news, and this is... Uh, it, this is another reason why I decided to make this video. In addition to the Warcraft 3 cancellation on the channel, but Skyrim Roleplay! I've been working, that's one of the games that I've been working hard at as well, which has kind of taken up a lot of my free time. That I'm not, when I'm not working on homework, obviously, but anyways. I've play tested it, it's bug tested, and it's compatibility tested. And, with the exception of one mod, everything's in working order. I was able to play to approximately level 20. Didn't really progress down too many quest lines, although I did raid a bunch of dungeons, and as well as experience what it's like to go to the Dragonborn Museum not as a relic hunter, commissioned by Orion. And it was actually really exciting. I was pretty happy about it. I, I was very surprised. I had maybe one or two crashes happen, but that kind of came with playing the game for a long time and having a couple other applications running in the background, so yeah it, it works and I'm, uh, I'm so very happy with it uh, the one mod that doesn't work, it's complete alchemy and cooking overhaul, some of the cooking stuff, some of the stuff that you can cook it doesn't compat fully compat it isn't fully compatible with realistic needs and diseases. I checked with I need and it's not 100%. Anything that is base game works for that. It, it realistic needs and disease will work for that. The problem is there's a lot uh, crap complete crafting in or CACO I guess for short uh, adds in a ton of food and it doesn't work. A realistic needs and diseases doesn't pick it up. There's not a system where I can simply eat a food and then it'll go, the game will go, oh, this game, this is an undetectable food. What would you like to classify it as? I remember at some point I was able to do that with realistic needs and disease in the, uh, in the normal, in the non-special edition, but I can't do it here. So, if you guys know any fixes for this, just let me know. I haven't checked load ordering, but I'm pretty sure I'd ha I might check that out and investigate that next. I might have to have realistic needs and diseases come afterwards if it has already. And I plan on starting to record next week 
and start releasing episodes on March the 1st, which is in about three weeks' time, I believe. So I'm hoping to have a brand new start made up fit created for this. We're gonna do go ahead and go on Orion's quests, of course, but that's not going we're not gonna immediately jump into that. Instead, we're gonna we're not gonna start on the docks of solitude. We're actually going to start at a different location. I installed a new house mod that allows me to essentially become the lord of a land, of a small parcel of land. I forget the name of the mod. I'll be sure to include it in a mod description video. But yeah, we're going to be making that. And, and, and the reason why I decided to have that in is because current the way my character is going to be playing. And I have to go to some of the other cities, I have to just test it out and double check that each of the major cities has this, but I know for Solitude there's a sewer system that allows us to get into the major city. I don't think I have sewers as Skyrim installed, it's uh, something completely different. But essentially the point is that uh, the, the I would use the sewer system as, as an alternate way in order to get inside the cities instead of taking the main gate, you know, kind of act like this shady Argonian that's coming up because I, obviously I have the reputations mod and currently it's not many people are very, are start off as friendly towards Argonians. They find me to be a rather mysterious character and possibly a very untrustworthy one. I think in terms of reputation, that in terms of untrustworthy, they are probably second to Khajiit. So taking the sewers kind of works out for us because obviously you have to go through less guard patrols, which reminds me I might want to get immersive patrols going. And yeah, so I, I would just have to double check on each of the other cities to ensure that it's in there, obviously. But yeah, I don't even remember where I was going with the original topic there. Yeah, I don't, I don't really remember, but anyways, just to kind of come back to the point that's on screen, starting release episodes on the 1st, and I'm going to start recording as of next... Oh yeah, it was the how I planned on taking the story. So, uh, I think I'm going to end up doing a quest line, like one of the major quest lines first, before I start the, uh, dra the discovering that I'm Dragonborn, or the main quest, the main quest line of the game. Yeah, I, I thought I'll explain it in a different video instead of continuing to waste time stammering here. But let's hope this one fares better than the last one, eh? And so far, it's proving that it is. It's like I said, stress tests. I've stress tested. I place tested. It's bug tested, and with the exception of the one mod, it's in great working order. And now for the new upload schedule. It's just slightly modified, nothing too major. And that's what it looks like. So, as you can see, we took out the Warcraft 3 series. I moved around a couple things, so I only had, so I have only two uploads a day, with the exception of Wednesdays, where it's three uploads a day. And they kind of follow the exact same schedule, like the exact same uh, week one, week two schedule. I don't know if I'm gonna. I might change this up in the future to make it a bit easier on myself. I might not. It kind of depends. Uh, I'm just gonna move my cursor over here. So apologies if you see the stuff in the bottom corner. But uh, for instance, PS2 series might get knocked down to two a week, depending on how much I can get made up in a within the span of a couple days. Um. Currently, I don't plan on catching up on anything that I've already missed. So, I'm going to be essentially taking the rest of this. So, it's Wednesday today. I'm going to take Thursday, Friday, Saturday to do homework, to get homework worked on ahead of time, start getting more videos prepped and ready, and then continue to upload. With the exception of Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World, I already have quite a bit, as well as. Rimworld, I'll have that going on Saturday, and actually the StarCraft for that matter. Okay, so disregard what I just said. If I have something already ready to go, 
I'll be uploading it. So currently I think I have one PS2 series ready to go, so you'll get one for today. I have Dragon Age and I have Monster Hunter World ready to go. I have one No Man's Sky. Uh, I'll have a Monster Hunter World ready, as well as I've got StarCraft and RimWorld ready. By the way, the reason why I haven't uploaded StarCraft in a while is because apparently I was missing a, one of the missions for the solo campaign, so I had to go ahead and recreate that. So, yeah, now that that's all fixed up and the video's cut down, We'll be able to resume and I'm going to actually upload a bunch of solo videos or a bunch of the solo campaign videos throughout the next couple of days so that I'm at least caught up with the co-op version. So yeah, that should hopefully make up for the lack of uploads in here as again as for the rest that I haven't done. There isn't going to be much of a makeup for those, and I do apologize for that. But hopefully I should be able to get back on top of all of this. I just need to get the PS2 series, Oblivion, and Skyrim really, really far, like really well recorded, and then everything else should be icing on the cake at that, point, at that moment. So, yeah, bit of a longer update video, but yeah. Thank you everybody for watching, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you really enjoyed, don't forget to, well, maybe not this video, but any of my other videos, share it around to people who you think will enjoy what I make. And as always, for, again, for Oblivion and Skyrim, if you have any mod suggestions, just let me know. Uh, Skyrim might be a little more complicated to get them to work into it, as... Uh, some mods might aren't compatible with others that I currently have in the loadout. I will have a new uh, mod list that goes into the extreme detail coming out before uh, before Skyrim comes out. But if you do have any suggestions, just let me know, and in that video, I will address all of them at once. So yeah, till next time, ladies and gentlemen. Take it easy.